by very much founded Pramada on the basis of true legal pain. Back in 2001, I was selling a previous company to a counterparty and we were going through due diligence. And I remember I'd hired a bunch of attorneys mm -hmm. and they came in and they dove into a legal a banker's box and started like rifling through all of our contracts. And I remember asking them at that time that, well, this must, you know, we're a relatively small company. This must be a lot easier for the larger company. And what they said was, you think it's easier for those larger companies? They said, first of all, you have a box. Second of all, the <laughs> box doesn't contain a bunch of junk. They said in larger companies, it, you know, was just a big Sherlock Holmes search mission. So I was listening to that and I was like, okay, that's interesting. That's such critical information of really the DNA of your relationship with, oh, I don't know, just your customers, your suppliers and your employees. Other than that, what's in contracts, right? So the fact that this information is, is really hard for people to get their arms around, huh, there must be something there. And four years later, five years later, when I was looking at starting a new company, I went back to that problem and said, huh, let me look into that contracts thing again and see if anybody solved it yet. Reached out to a bunch of people I knew who were general counsels or involved in contracts on the sales side or the vendor side. And I asked, you know, this smattering of people, how many of them felt that this problem was under control? And, you know, what all of them kept pointing to, and remember, this is 2006, they kept pointing to a fundamental problem, which is we don't know even what we have out there. Okay. So every time we need to sell something new to an existing customer or we need to renegotiate with an existing vendor, it's like I have to put together a puzzle, okay, of understanding, wait, what did we sign with them three years ago? And was that ever amended? And then did we override that with some kind of an order form along the way? And so this puzzle became a common piece. And that became the DNA of the solution that, that we worked on as a founding team at Permata and continues to be at the core of our solution today.